it's Haley. Happy Christmas Eve. Today is Bookmas Day 24 and I'm going to be doing a Christmas bookshelf scavenger hunt. So this is actually the last video of Bookmas that I have to film because I've kind of been putting it off because I have shelves on this side and shelves on this side and I know it's going to be a nightmare. I actually forgot to close the closet so I need to close that or else it's going to get in my way. Also there's a plane that has been like circling overhead so I'm sorry if you guys can hear that. It's just we live near an airport where like they practice and everything and yeah. I can't do anything about that. I have 12 prompts here that I have done before for Bookmas and I'm really excited. I love doing this video, so let's just get into it. Actually, I forgot to say, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified whenever I post. I'm putting up a new video every single day in December and I will also have yesterday, Bookmas Day 23, linked down below for you guys. For Bookmas Day 23, I can't even remember what I did. Oh, I shared my Christmas book wish list, so I will have that down below as well as the entire Bookmas playlist so you can get caught up if you have fallen behind. Now let's get into it. So first is a book set during Christmas and I have so many because I just filmed my Christmas book haul and there's literally a million here. We've got The Holiday Swap by Maggie Knox and The 12 Dates of Christmas by Jenny Bayless. Window Shopping by Tessa Bailey. Nick and Noel's Christmas Playlist by Cody Hall. So This is Christmas by Tracy Andreen. Blame It on the Mistletoe by Beth Garrett. The Holiday Switch by Tiff Marcello. And Duke Actually by Jenny Holiday. I definitely also have one Oh, I forgot this one. Royal Holiday by Jasmine Gilroy. I was going to grab one off of my shelf, but now I can't find it. Okay, I can't find it anywhere, so I don't know if I put it in my closet with the other Christmas books for some reason or what, but I was going to grab 10 Blind Dates by Ashley Elston because that is set during Christmas, and it's also awesome. But I think that's all I've got for Christmas time reads. So number one, check. Number two is five cold words. I don't even know if I have anything. Like there definitely are things with cold words, but this is so interesting because I feel so out of touch with my bookshelves right now that it's really hard to think of anything. I don't know, like this year has just been a mess and because of that I feel like I don't know anything about what books I have on my shelves. So five cold words. Here we go. Okay, I've got two. I have The Cold is in Her Bones. Cold is definitely a cold word. And then I have A Court of Frost and Starlight. Frost is cold. So now I just need three more. I'm pretty sure I've answered this every year, but frost flood, you know, frost also cold. I already said frost, but it counts, okay? I was really trying to find another word other than frost, but I could not find anything. So frost like night. This is just making me realize how many books have frost in it, but also how many book titles have bone in it. Bone is everywhere. The final book that I found is Winterwood. So winter is obviously quite cold. Moving on to number three, a red and green book cover. So I'm going to go with like a not Christmas book. I'm gonna try and go with a not Christmas book, but it's really hard because red and green aren't often paired together because they make people think of Christmas, obviously. This might seem like a stretch to some people, but this one does have red and green. It has a lot of leaves, so I'm gonna use this one, but this is Dear Haiti Love Elaine by Micah Mooley and Maritza Mooley. Number four is a character with a festive name, and I know that I could go with the Christmas books, but once again, I'm gonna try not to. Okay, hear me out. Eve, Christmas Eve. I'm really bad at remembering character names, which makes this so much harder, but like, Eve, that's festive. Really my goal was to just find something with like a character named Nick, but then I can't think of anything that has a character named Nick. Nick and Noelle's Christmas playlist obviously has very festive names, like that's kind of the point to it. And I also found, what one? Eight Perfect Hours by Leah Louise I actually haven't mentioned before because this one isn't set during Christmas, it's kind of festive, it's a snowstorm, but the main character's name is once again Noelle. So, and I think there was also a character named Holly in it but Noel is for sure a festive name. Number five is a festive object, so obviously I have plenty behind me. Let's, I feel like I usually pick the Christmas wiener dog. I mean, I have my real Christmas wiener dog on the floor here. I could put him in a Santa suit and then hold him up, but that seems like a lot of effort. I'll just put a picture of him here and then I will grab something. I'm actually going to go for this little ornament wiener dog. Uh, I bought this for myself, but my sister also bought it for me for Christmas. So I ended up with two. So one's on my tree and then one goes on my shelf and he's so cute. Number six is a book with baking in it. We all know I have so many. Actually, I'm gonna mention the one that I forgot to mention 
mention because this was one of the questions for my subscriber recommendations video that I did for Bookmas Day 3. So I'm going to mention the one that I forgot until someone mentioned it to me and I was like, wow, that was dumb. So that book is Heartless by Marissa Meyer, which of course, this is a book definitely about baking. It is a Queen of Hearts origin story and she wants to like open a bakery. So there's a ton of baking in this book and I love this book. Number seven is a book cover with a wintry scene and I'm going to once again try to not go for one of the Christmas books that I have. I can't remember if I've mentioned this one in past years, but Witchwood by Tahara Mafi definitely has a super, super wintry cover. Like it's just all winter, so that definitely counts. I think that's all I've really got, so. It's fine if I mentioned it in previous years, it does not matter that much. Number eight is a book cover with silver and gold on it. That's also very difficult. <laughs> I'm kind of tempted to go for Lore by Alexandra Bracken, but it's not like technically silver, it's more so white and marble. So I will try and find something else. I mean, we do kind of have a silver and gold theme going on here, but once again, it's kind of white. Actually, Shadow and Bone definitely has silver and gold, but Star Daughter by Shvita Thakrar for sure has silver and gold. All of her like jewelry and everything is silver so it's predominantly gold but there is silver I feel like silver might be hard to print on book covers but also it's not paired with gold that often but it is gorgeous just for good measure I also thought of hunted by Megan Spooner because this has like gold here but then it kind of reflects silver so it really has a silvery gold look moving on number nine is a book that was a gift that's a very good question because honestly I buy most books for myself because I like I claim them on my taxes and stuff so what book was a gift? Actually, Little Woman by Louise May Alcott in the Seasons Edition was a gift. I remember I was trying to find it because it was the only one that I was missing from the season series and the only store that they had it in stock at was one near my sister. So my parents had my sister pick it up for me and then it was a gift for it last Christmas. And now I do have the completed series. It may have been the Christmas before that, but I'm pretty sure it was last Christmas. Number 11 is a title that describes how Christmas shopping feels, which is chaotic, but also I do really love Christmas shopping. Window shopping for myself, that could count. Recommended for you, that could count because while I'm Christmas shopping, I literally just find gifts for myself. Simmer down because I want everyone to simmer down and relax and just enjoy the holidays. Nope, here's the winner. Excuse me while I ugly cry because there's just so much happening and it overwhelms my anxiety. So that's very fitting. The final challenge is to spell Santa Claus using book titles. So I'm gonna try and do it with the books that I already have off of the shelves because I don't wanna make a mess and I wanna try and get to the gym before it gets really busy. So we're gonna try and do this real quick. So this is Christmas. I'm also gonna try and use as many Christmas reads as I have. So we have S and then I think I had something for A over here. Ace of Spades, that can be A. For N, I'll do Nick and Noel's Christmas playlist. For T, I'll do the 12 dates of Christmas. And then I need another A. Sure, let's go with A Study in Charlotte by Brittany Cavallaro. Now for C, I just saw one. Cytonic by Brandon Sanderson. Now L. I don't even know what like things start with. This is so hard. I don't really like this book. I don't really like this book, but Leon the Offbeat by uh, Becky Albertalli, that would be L. Oh my God, we need another A. A is so hard. Here we go, Alice by Heart by Stephen Sater. So is that right, Claw? And then you, oh God, you. Unbirthday by Liz Braswell. I wasn't gonna go over to those shelves, but this was the first one I, that came to mind. And finally, we did an S. Song of Wraiths and Broom, perfect. Ta-da! Santa Claus. So that is actually going to be all for today's video. Merry Christmas Eve. I hope you enjoy your day or happy Friday if you don't celebrate. But thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Tomorrow for Bookmas Day 25, I'm going to be doing a Christmas book haul. So it's gonna be really fun. I'm very excited for it. But I will see you guys in that new video tomorrow. Bye. Mm -hmm.